we're hearing from a lot of his teammates in all the franchises. He played for Minnesota, he played for Buffalo for a little bit, played for Seattle. And, and all of his teammates are talking about how great of a teammate he was, how well-liked he was, how positive he was. And that uh, we're, we're painting, getting a picture painted of a guy who I think met more in the locker room than anywhere else. And, and that's important in, in any professional sport. What do you know or remember about the kind of guy he was in that locker room? I've seen people tweeting that he was just an all-around nice guy. They remember that about him in Minnesota. The constant with him was always his positive attitude and that his teammates would always have his back, no matter what it was, no matter in what role he was in, whether he was the starter or the backup, you would never hear anybody say anything bad or ill about uh, Tavares Jackson. Why do you think that was? He just loved his teammates. He just loved being around the guys. And that's that's not something that um, is uh, different from a lot of players. I think a lot of people, one of the things they love about sports is just being around the guys. And I think that no matter what happened, he was willing to accept his role. And, and if that was as a backup, it was a backup. And if that was a starter, then it was as a starter. If it was playing a game where you're going to hand the ball off to Adrian Peterson 25 times and just watch him go, then he would do that. And he was fine with that. And, and he never complained. When he played in Minnesota and when he left Minnesota, was it always, in your opinion, on good terms? What I remember, what I appreciate most was that, was that Tavares would always come out and face the music. He would always chat with you and he would always answer your questions to the best of his ability. In our business, Jenna, we, we, all we really want sometimes is for people to give us a chance to do our jobs. And Tavares always did that. He would stand up and take the question and answer the question. In all his time in Minnesota, I never once remember him getting angry at a question, being upset at a question, uh, being upset at me. I've been yelled at a lot by a lot of athletes in my time, but never Tavares Jackson. As I mentioned earlier, Tavares left the NFL in 2015, and he started coaching. He actually just started coaching quarterbacks last season at Tennessee State. But more important than any of the jobs he held with football, he was a father. He leaves behind a wife and three children.